Risotto is super duper creamy because all the starch from the rice stays in the pan. That's how I make my mac and cheese. It's a one pot pazotto macaroni and cheese. It is so fast. Let me show you how to make it. Guys, this is really smart. I call it pazotto because it's like risotto. So, a little butter. Okay, some, some shallot. Very good. Just get a little bit of that happening. So this is just some basic fat and onion flavoring for us. Now, pasta, elbow pasta. Here we go. It's going right in. I'm gonna toast it just a little bit. Okay, now. All right, nice. So here's what's happening here. Normally when you cook pasta in pasta water, all the starch that the pasta releases goes down the drain. Look at this pasta that I've had soaking in water here. You can see how starchy the water is. It's very starchy. What does this mean? It means that when we cook it this way, the starch is in the pasta. What does that mean? It means we have a natural thickener. It means that we don't have to make flour and butter roux or bechamel to make this thick because we already have the butter that we put in here with the starch from the pasta. So is it as fast as a three minute mac and cheese? No. Is it faster than one that you have to boil water with? Absolutely. So when you add some liquid, that was chicken stock, you can add water, you could add beer, as long as it's not an IPA, it's too bitter. No good if you do that. You can already see just the way this is boiling. Look at the bubbles. They're starchy, thick bubbles. So we want the liquid to just cover the pasta and let it reduce down. Right around there, you come in and you say, gee, I'd like to test if my pasta's cooked or not. And I don't even need to eat that. I can see that it's still al dente. So what does that mean? It means we're gonna add another liquid stage so that the pasta can cook a little more. In the meantime, why don't I chop up some of these chives? So we're developing what the French call a velouté, which is a stock with equal parts butter and flour. We don't have any flour in here, but we have the starch that's coming off of our pasta, mixed with the butter and stock. So we've got this natural velouté happening. The pasta is now cooked. We will add some delicious cheddar cheese, and you want to make sure that it's all grated up because then it has more surface area and it's going to melt better. If you need a little more liquid, totally fine. Nice and cheesy. How about a little more? What if we put a little bit of fontina? Obviously you can put whatever cheeses you want in here. Make it extra cheesy. All right, now just like the Italians do with risotto, you're gonna come in with some cool butter and that cool butter is just gonna get stirred in. The butter is all melted in there and then just to give it a little more viscosity, you can come in with some, just a little bit of cream. That's probably a tablespoon. And that's just gonna give you a little more wetness. Homemade macaroni and cheese faster than this? Impossible. Wonderful pasotto, pasta risotto, pasta in the style of risotto, macaroni and cheese. Looks absolutely gorgeous. Some chive. Homemade macaroni and cheese in five minutes in one pot. You can do it. It looks fantastic. 